What is up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, this is the first episode of the add-on tutorial creation series for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So, in this series, we're going to be walking through everything you need to know about creating add-ons and creating packs for your world and everything to do with Minecraft Bedrock. So, what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be hopping into our com.mojang folder. So this is the number one most important folder you will need to create anything with add-ons. So what we're going to do is once we're in our com.mojang folder, how we get there is we're going to simply type in our search bar. So open up a Windows Explorer and type in here local app data. So you're going to do percent local app data and then another percent. So once we open this up, you can see there's a list of tons of files that are in uh, your local app data. So this is just per user based app data. So in here we're going to look for something called packages and so it should be somewhere right here. Packages. So we're going to open up packages then we're going to search for something called Microsoft.Minecraft UWP and boom. So it's going to look a little bit like this. Um, we're going to click on Microsoft.UWP then we're going to click on local state, games, com.mojang, and boom. We are now in our com.mojang folder. Very important that you do pin this into quick access. And to do that, you're going to right click and you're going to press pin the quick access. Uh, this is very important so you don't have to go through all those tasks every single time. You want to access it. Simply, you would click right here, com.mojang, and it would load your com.mojang folder on the side. All right. So for your com.mojang folder, you're really only going to be using these two folders. These are the most two imp important folders for your Minecraft packs because it allows you to quickly non-catch your packs instead of creating behavior packs using UUIDs and more parts. So that probably didn't make sense, but UUIDs are a lot of work. So we'll be going over that in, uh, in the next video. But with our development behavior packs, we're going to be able to create any pack super simply. So the first step is what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder and we're just going to name our pack. So let's just say our name is going to be custom TNT add-on. So this tutorial series, we are going to be working on a custom TNT add-on. So then we're going to open up this pack, this folder. I mean, and as you can see, this folder is empty. It doesn't include anything. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening up this folder with Visual Studio Code. And if you do not have Visual Studio Code installed, I recommend installing it. All right. So once you hop onto the Visual Studio Code website, you're going to need to uh, click and download Visual Studio Code for whatever platform you're on. So for me, Windows will be the one I'm choosing. So I'm just going to click the download button, which I already have it installed. I don't need to do it, but you're going to click the download button and you're going to download it into your game or into your PC. So once you have Visual Studio Code installed, you should see that all your folders will have a button called open with code. If this doesn't show up, it could be under more, uh, more options or it could just not show up in the first place. And if it does not, then what you're going to need to do is I'm going to close this. Um, you're going to need to click file and then open folder and find your folder. So you should be able to click on com.mojang, behavior packs, and then click on this folder that you have added. So once we have our pack open, it's very, very simple from there to start creating our pack. So this was the most important step, and this is a very important step for the creation series. All right. So we now have our pack open, and it will be super simple from here. So first, we're going to need to create a manifest dot json so our manifest.json is a very 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 important file for any pack we create so the manifest.json will allow us to define our pack define our uids which are complicated saying i will go over later uh define our pack name description and all those bits and uh stuff with our pack so first we're going to be creating a object and if you don't know how json works it's basically an object oriented uh data language which you can store variables and stuff like that so basically what we're going to be creating is a manifest.json how we're going to do this 
is we're gonna create an object and you can simply copy this how I'm doing it but what it's going to be is we're gonna have to do something called format version and we're gonna find our format version so we're gonna do two then once we have our format version on we're gonna be able to do, go down and we should be able to see something called header so we're gonna create a thing called header and in here we're gonna be able to define our name of our pack so let's just say custom TNT add-on then we're gonna define our description of our pack as TNT add-on that adds TNT okay then the next part is our UID which is very important we're gonna create our UUID from a website called UUIDgenerator.net. I'll leave this link in the description. And basically on this website, you can grab UUIDs um, simply by creation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two of these, UUID version fours, and we're gonna copy one of them right now. So we're gonna copy and paste the first one, and we're gonna paste that right there. So paste it in between our quotes. Then we're gonna create one more thing called version, and this will be our default version. So it should be 1000. So make sure your manifest.json looks exactly like this before we move on. Okay, so you now have your manifest.json looking perfectly like this. We will need to create one more thing called modules. And in here, we're going to create a module um, with the. We're going to find uh, the UID of this, which is going to be the second UUID right here okay then we're gonna define the type which is going to be a uh, data pack because we are using a behavior pack which is basically a data pack then we're gonna do one more thing uh, this is unnecessary but you can do description and basically so we're just gonna do a this is our behave pack definition def right. okay then we're going to do one last thing for this thing and we're going to do the version and our version is just going to be the exact same version right here so the only reason you need a module is because this is allows you to make your packs work for realms and makes it so it's client and gets scraped so one more thing we're going to be adding this is very very unnecessary but i like to do it um we're going to be defining some metadata and we're going to say the authors are me, so smell of curry. This is unnecessary, but you can add it. And you can also add URLs and other stuff. So we're just going to leave that blank because we don't want that. But so now you can see we have our manifest.json made and compiled in our game. Okay, so now if we open up our game and try to add our pack to a world. So as you can see, if I just press edit, go and find our pack, you can see that our pack doesn't exist. So what you're going to need to do, if you already have Minecraft open, you're just going to need to restart Minecraft. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I did forget one more thing. You will need to add a min engine version. So add this to your manifest.json, reload your game, and you should see your behavior pack pop up in our world. So uh, we're just going to actually create a new world. And so we're going to call this our uh, YouTube series. Okay, and we're gonna hop in, add our behavior pack. So you're gonna go down and find the behavior pack right here. So custom TNT add-on. This has adds TNT. So we're gonna add that to our world and you should see it's active. Then uh, with our pack, we're actually gonna need, um, actually we don't need money things. So we're just gonna add sheets. So if we create a new world and load it up, okay. And as you can see, a, the world looks awful familiar. So nothing's really changed. If I go to game mode C, you can see there's no new TNT added um, because we actually did not add anything. All we did was create a pack and we have to find a manifest. So perfect. That is going to allow you to add a manifest and add a pack to your world. So in this video, we have defined how we can create a pack, what the combat mojang does, and how you can add a combat mojang pack to your world. So that is going to be the end of this video for the first episode of the add-on tutorial series. And in the next one, we're actually going to be looking into how to create entity files and how to create block.jsons. So it's very important that you watch the next video into making your add-on much, much better. So I'll see you guys in episode two. Peace out.